family welcome back to the channel thanks for tuning back in so this week we're going to be uploading our week one which is actually like week number four that we've been back working out not really a solid week but you know here and there in the past month that we've been sporadically going back into the gym but progress has been happening currently we're on like week number five I think week four, week five. So we got some videos to catch up on. Yeah. Oh, uh, Daniel's right here. He wants to say something. So let me come down to his level. Come on over. Look what my, you want to say to the people? Look you gotta look right there, man. Look at my Play-Doh. <laughs> look at my Play-Doh collection. You ready to play with your Play-Doh? Yeah. Why are you looking over there? You got to look at the, the dot, man. Look, look at the dot. Look, look at, my at the dot. <laughs> look right there. Look right there. Look right there. So like I was saying, this is week one's video. Hope you enjoyed. Just a couple clips of what we've been doing in week one as far as training. If you got anything that you want us to go over or any exercise you want to see us do or our opinions on it or anything like that, please feel free to leave a comment below. Let us know. Uh, upcoming videos, we're going to do a trip into GNC, something like that to see the kind of supplements we like to use and what we plan on using as we start our 2019 training. Appreciate you. We out. Enjoy. I'm at the train station. About to hop on this yellow line. My train is actually coming now. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. About to get on the train. About to go get some training on in the gym with the wife at a Washington Sports Club. Stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? So the first part of this video, we got me doing some lap pull downs. Now, the reason we do lap pull downs is to improve those lats so that those big triceps have something to sit on when you're doing bench. So big lats, big bench press. So you want to improve your lats. You want to get them bigger, you want to get them stronger so that your triceps have something to rest on so you can improve that bench. So supersets is when you do one exercise and then immediately finishing, that exercise, you do the other exercise, whatever the exercise may be. And then once you're done, that ends that superset. Next up, we got my wife. She's on the bench press, working her working sets. As you can see, she got 95 pounds. I'm giving her her spot because that's how we roll as swole mates. We spot each other. <laughs> So the wife's doing her bench press. I'm spotting her as usual, swole mate style, training partners, life partners, that's what we do. Um, she usually does working sets anywhere from four to five sets. Of five, she tries to do five reps, she usually does until we start getting that transition weight where we're going to increase weight. And usually she'll get like five the first set and four and four and three and whatever the case may be. But that's what we're doing right here, getting that bench work in. Uh, building that bench press up so she can eventually get to her goal of a 135 bench press for reps. So don't worry, babe, we're gonna get this soon. Right, guys so here I'm doing single arm seated rows once again for my lats got to build them lats so I can build that bench 
Um, I like this exercise because it doesn't tax out my lower back with doing deadlifts. And it's just another variation of doing like uh, standing dumbbell rows. Um, it's just seated, so it's a little, a little lazier than standing up or, you know, bent over rows. But I like it because I do. Just want y'all to know that some little elves walking around here racking all our weights. So we don't really have to do much. It's the elves. They come, they put our weights to what we want, and then we work out. That's how it happens. So, as you can see, my wife's doing her flies. Another accessory workout to the chest that we like to implement once we're done our main lift, which is the bench press. We like to do uh, some dumbbell flies. And if you know that's taken in the gym, we'll go to do machine flies or we'll do cable flies. Some way, we're trying to get the flies in. We gotta get that accessory work in to build up that main lift, which is the bench press, powerlifting stuff. You know what I'm saying? All right, so these are overhead pullovers. I think that's the correct terminology for them. However, whatever the terminology is, we like to do these also as an accessory work to the bench day, or if we're doing an arm day, or even a back day, because this works tricep, lats, uh, gets your core tight, depending on how you're sitting. Uh, we can go more in depth in that in some later videos. Here I go again, doing more tricep pushdowns. Right now I'm using the lat pull down machine to do my triceps because someone else had the other machines that I usually use. Um, and the other machines I usually use are for a single arm. Uh, when I'm doing both arms, the machines don't have enough weight to support what I'm trying to do, especially when I'm trying to do heavy sets um, to build that mass and to build that power. So I go over to the lat pull down machine and I improvise. You gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? You do know what I'm saying. All right, guys, here I am doing some seated wide grip lat rows, working on them lats. That's some underarm pit muscles right there. So I'm working them out with the wide grip. If you're doing the narrow grip, I believe it works the inner part of your upper back, but I'm working that wide part so I can improve my bench press because I'm trying to get to a 450 to 500 pound bench press by, I want to say, spring. So, you know, stay tuned. That, that, that's coming that 450, 500 bench press. All right, so we all know what dips are. If you don't know what dips are, they're just you lifting your body weight or you can do assisted dips, which she's also gonna be doing um, to improve those tricep, shoulders, chest muscles, traps, all that great stuff. And once again, it all transitions over to a better bench press. For us, in the powerlifting world, that's what it does. Do the dips so it transitions over to a better bench press for us, yeah. Here I go, working the lat pull downs, close grip, getting my reps in. Um, yeah. So this is me on the bench press um, on a Wednesday, I believe. So the other footage was a Monday. So I started with my warm up sets. All my warm up sets are pretty high repped. Uh, exercises so the first sets usually like 135 for 15 to 20 the second one's 225 for i think 15 to 20. the third is 315 which i crank out for about 10 reps anywhere 12 maybe 15 if i'm really feeling it and then after that i jump right into my working sets which right now my working sets i've surpassed the 375 mark or not 375 365 mark and now i'm on the 385 for three once I get 385 for five, I'm gonna move up to a 405. So that's coming soon. Got some assisted work to help out with that that you'll see later in the weeks coming and in upcoming videos. All right, family, I'm moving around the house. Got to get my grub in. So as mentioned, this is a 385 working set, number one, for three reps. Um, I think later on in the week, I move it up to four reps. So I'm getting stronger. It's getting there. 
it's gonna all work out for the best. You know what I'm saying? And yes, I have the wife spotting me, swole me stuff. That's what we do. We spot each other. She got my back. All right, guys. So this is me doing my slingshot work. This is my overload that I do at the end of my chest workout or my chest bench press. I like to throw the slingshot on, get some extra force reps in. Uh, just improving that bench for the overall goal that I got. All right, so this is my incline bench, which I like to do after my flat bench. Sometimes I alternate depending on how I feel and if the bench press, is the flat bench is taken. But I like to alternate, especially when I get to plateau time to the incline. So I have, I usually do three sets of, you know, 135 warm up, 225, and then 275. Sometimes I jump it up to 315. And depending on how I feel also and how much time I have, I might take that all the way through to three, to four working sets of This video footage is the wife doing her deadlifts, um, her working sets. She's already warmed up and things of that nature. And she's just getting back into the groove. So hopefully we see 225 on the bar in like, you know, maybe about week seven, week eight, 225, probably week 10. But who knows? I don't. You don't. But stay tuned and you will. This video footage is me doing some dumbbell curls. Gotta do the curls for my girl, my wife. You know what I'm saying? I like to implement doing my chest workout. I don't really like to do tricep work on chest days because I feel like it defeats the purpose. So I do dumbbell curls in between and some shoulder raises also that you're also gonna see. But I like to do shoulder raises and dumbbell curls in between my sets when I'm doing my chest workout days. All right, guys, this next clip is us at Sam's Club going to buy the food that we need to have for the week. And then after that, it'll be me preparing the food so that we can make our meals throughout the week. It usually lasts us up until I would say Wednesday or Thursday, whenever I cook on that Sunday. So we'll have meals prepped for about two or three days. And then I have to cook it all over again on, like I said, either Wednesday or Thursday for the rest of the week. My nephew at my nephew up in here in the science club working he had to put his uh nephew sam's club vest on there you go right there look at him putting his vest on yeah sam's club to the rescue all right let's go uh see what we get. ain't no samples in here daddy i did it i did you did what i just typed the number and i did it oh what'd you type I don't know. <laughs> I, I just did it right by myself. Oh, okay. I didn't know I can do. I didn't know I can talk to this. Look at all these people down here. Sam. God dang it. Oh, I don't think there's samples over here. That's, they might be on this side. No, ain't nobody over there. 
What's on this side? The vinegar. What? I don't have no samples. Oh, green beans. Mm. I don't like no green beans. I'm a superhero based on oh, Excuse me. Green beans. Y'all got the big one? Okay. Hey. big Let's get the members mark because it says with sea salt. Can we get sea salt? We saw and we purchased at Sam's Club. And now we're out. And you know why we're out so fast? Because we use the Scan and Go app. So we scanned and got out of there. I bet people were looking at us like, they didn't even go through line. <laughs> technology, man, technology. And for some reason, I don't know how, but they had peanut butter jelly samples. <laughs> I told you. I feel like I feel like God sent a text message down for one of the angels to orchestrate that just to laugh at me. <laughs> it was delicious too. I got the chicken on. It's already sizzling hot. You can see a couple pieces I got turned over already. I got sweats on because the mosquitoes are not playing out here. It's not a game. They want to eat too, but I'm not on the menu. So anyway, I'm going to be out here cooking. As you can see, the light is going down. But this is what we got to do to get them games. You know what I'm saying? All right.